Welcome, welcome, welcome to another edition of Fantasy News. I'm your host, my middle name, and today we have quite a bit of fantasy news to jump on into. And like, like hardcore fantasy news, not like this Marvel, Star Wars, inundated crap. Real fantasy news updates, yeah! First up, it has officially been announced that Netflix's Witcher adaptation will premiere in late 2019, much, much earlier than I expected. Personally, I was thinking early 2020 at the earliest, so I, I was off, I was, I was wrong. It's, it's coming 2019. I'm excited for this one. It is personally one of the shows I'm looking forward to the most in terms of the upcoming flood of Game of Thrones replacements, so I'm, I'm curious. It's not my most hyped one, obviously, but it's up there, and I'm really excited to see where this one will land for us in terms of quality. That was a roundabout way of saying that. But let me know in the comments down below, do you like Henry Cavill for Geralt? It's a little too late. They can't really reshoot it, but are you excited? Let me know. Why, why, why not down there? You know, do your thing, do your job. Increase the engagement for the video. And in other fantasy adaptation news, the Lord of the Rings TV show on Amazon will begin filming in Scotland this August, probably meaning the show will premiere end of 2020, maybe early 2021, depending how long their shooting schedule is. There is significantly less known about this show than the upcoming Witcher adaptation because, you know, Witcher's way further along in production, but the hype around this Lord of the Rings adaptation is surprisingly not quite as big as I expected. It's Lord of the Freaking Rings, yet I've seen Really, the fan base have a lukewarm to positive reaction instead of overwhelmingly positive, despite the massive budget this show seems to be getting given. And maybe that's just Lord of the Rings fatigue after the last few decades of being inundated with this story, but I think once we get a trailer or two, the hype might spike up to a peak. The Full Metal Alchemist director, Yasuru Iri, sorry, I know I butchered that, will be directing an original series for Netflix, yes, another adaptation, pushing us ever so closer to 80. I bet you we might be at 80 now. 80 adaptations, everybody! Yay! <laughs> He will be directing an anime over at Netflix called Eden. A loose plot synopsis has been released for the show, and apparently it takes place thousands of years in the future in a city called Eden 3, populated entirely by robots until two robots accidentally stumble upon and awaken a baby human girl. Neat. Definitely, I'm actually interested in that. That sounds pretty neat, and I've liked Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood so far. Thanks, Elliot, for recommending it. Getting quick Star Wars news out of the way, there was another trailer for the Star Wars Clone Wars TV show. Link in the description if you want to go watch it. I'm I'm not going to include much more Star Wars in this one. I'm just tired of Star Wars. But speaking of a Disney IP, it seems that Disney's CEO, Bob Eigner, will step down in 2021. This is honestly monumental. He has helmed Disney through some of its greatest years in terms of expansion and growth. And the meme that Disney's this all-consuming giant corporation might, might have some basis in reality. But it has also brought us amazing entertainment and Good job, Bob. I'm, I'm sad to see you go. Okay, I lied. There's one more bit of Star Wars news and then we're done with it for this episode, but I got hyped when I saw this. It seems a Knights of the Old Republic project is in development and that's really all we got, but that series seems to not be over and I personally hope to see maybe some Old Republic stuff that is canon be brought into the current deluge of Star Wars stories. That might be the only thing that could really get me interested again. I'm not going to go over everything released here, but Brandon Sanderson, under his username on Reddit, Mistborn, did release a update for Book 4 in the Stormlight Archive. Link down below if you want to go check that out. And it's exciting to see progress being made in what is widely considered one of the best modern fantasy stories ever told. And in your final bit of fantasy news for the day, it seems that two total Tolkien experts have actually joined the Amazon Lord of the Rings adaptation in the works. Tom Shippey and John Howie will be lending their knowledge to, I assume, script writing and filming and things along those lines to help really capture what is Tolkien. That was all of your fantasy news today. And when it comes to the poll results from the question asked in the last episode of Fantasy News, what fantasy IP would you like to see turned into a video game? The answer was... Uh, no real pull away lead. We had a very large array of answers and none came out clearly on top. Interesting. But my big takeaway from the poll is that there is a lot of thirst out there for a great fantasy adaptation to enter the video game market. There have been some decent entries recently, but nothing really on a Skyrim level since, you know, 
Skyrim. This has been your latest episode of Fantasy News. I don't have a poll question for you this time. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe if you have not already. Hit the Patreon if you want to support what I do here. And have a good one, y'all. Peace!